What's going on, my fellow collectors? I'm back again for another review, guys. It's been a while. It's been a while, guys, but I'm happy to be back. And as I'm back with a spectacular one today, guys. As you can see, I have War Machine. OMG, I've been waiting for this figure forever. <laughs> I think my profile picture got a picture of War Machine on it. As a matter of fact, I do. So now I can finally change that picture because now I have him in my clutches. And it is fabulous. Oh, wow. Hot Toys. It is so hard to stay mad at you guys when you do certain things with the figures that we are, like, you know, expecting to to be there. And then you just take it away. And next thing you know, we'd be pissed off at you guys. But, you know, I'm just all back in love with Hot Toys again, guys, with this figure. Very, very pleased. As you can see, starting with the paint apps. Well, actually, starting with the box, as you can see. Nice, nice box. You know, it's not Hot Toys standard for the Iron Man series, but since this is an Iron Man 2, I figure they I guess they'll change things up and go back to their roots with their basic look type boxes. And, you know, it's cool. It's cool. Nice reflective picture of War Machine on the front. As you can see, it almost looks like an animated type picture, but it's not. So it's basic, you know, that's the slip cover, take it off, then you got the figure underneath. You guys seen my unboxing, unboxing, and you saw what the box looked like in my unboxing, so I'm not going to really focus on that. But uh, back on the War Machine here, guys, I know a lot of collectors have been reviewing this guy, and, you know, I just figured, hey, let me add my two cents and what I think about him since now he's a part of the collection. And I am very, very pleased. He is welly welcome to my collection and I am so so pleased Hot Toys has done it again with lovely paint apps with this figure uh, you know you have uh, amazing design and the war machine suit and just awesome articulation you know there is some restrictions but you know what are you going to do Alrighty, but starting from the bottom, work our way up to the top. As you can see, these boots are spectacular. I mean, they just scream bulkiness and just extra, extra armor type protection to the, the host of the armor. Excuse me, uh, you can see lovely design with the gold trim at the bottom of the feet with uh, gold trim around the ankle area and just nice weathering all throughout the figure as you can see with this nice type of color that they chose to use for the war machine it's like a matted type of gray metal almost look like a gun metal it looks like what the mark 3 gun metal gray suit should have been look like <laughs> This is what the gunmetal gray I would expect it to look like. You know what I mean? Like you see nice weathering around and you know, it's just a nice type of color to chose all around. Love the knee area with this extra design in here. Just amazing lines all throughout the figure as you can see. Extra added like just armor parts. As you can see throwing out the figure. Cool lines all throughout the the leg area with nice weathering, nice double jointed knees, high hidden well into the armor. Cool design all up in here in the thigh area with a lighter color, silver color with nice weathering look all around, all in this area. Nice weathering all up in the area as you can see. Cool side design of the leg with nice lines all in out as you can see up in here. Amazing one six figure guys. Turn this guy to the side a little bit. As you can see up in this area or like on the Mark III, you have this this type of hip area, which is nicely designed as you can see. And nicely carved into the the leg area up in here as you can see. Cool design in the ball jointed leg area. Blend it very well to the armor. And 
this is a plastic type piece which is hidden like you don't even, you can't even tell that it's like that plastic soft plastic because it looks pretty hard just like armor would be and up to the torso area a bit of disappointment in the articulation up in this area because you have these type different uh, armor plating and you would think that he would be able to crouch down even lower than what he can but you know he can't still minor posability in the, the torso area get a little bit of bend and a little bit of turn but you don't want to mess around too much because you don't want your figure to snap on you so but up in the chest armor area as you can see beautiful beautiful weathering all up in this area and nice design all around for the chest armor nice logos throughout the figure Let's see if we can get a nice back area of the figure Why we have it on the side here awesome gauntlets arm gauntlets with the connecting machine guns I had a slight problem I'm not sure if these machine guns are supposed to be fully underneath of these clamps right here but I know they keep falling off and it's kind of annoying so that's one of my gripes with this figure but still doesn't take away the awesomeness like in these awesome hand scopes which are actually articulated. Get some nice articulation going on in there. Love that, love that. Articulation up in the, the, uh, the, the hand flats. Then over on the other side, we have the basic standard uh, fist scoped. So, I mean, it's still cool that they give you optional hands, even though you really don't need them with this, uh, with these articulated hands right here. I mean, because they are amazing. So, and this is why we love Hot Toys when they add, you know, stuff like that to their figures. It really brings them alive. I just love the bulk of the War Machine figure all around. I mean, it's just, sorry for the shakiness too, guys. You know, I'm working with my iPhone camera in my hand. But just all around the bulk of the figure is just perfectly in scale, as you can see. I mean, this figure just screams war machine. And look up here in the, the tricep area. Awesome bulkiness. Just a round type cylinder, cylinder, cylinder type shape, as you can see. Just screams bulk. And like even up in here in this back area, from the front you can see the bulkiness so definitely loving this figure for its bulkiness and tank like look type armor if that makes any sense <laughs> so definitely a must buy guys I didn't pull out the rocket area up in here but you guys know about that amazing head scope with the nice bulk type helmet Love the design up in the head area, up in here with the different type ridges. Nice little type uh, logo up there. Then let's check out this head scope, guys. What a head scope that is. Wow. Look at that. Awesome skin texturing. Looks just like the actor Don Chila. All up in here with the determined look in the eyes, beautiful paint applications, all up in the mouth area and the lip area. Just awesome. Running out on time, guys, but love all around amazing figure, guys. Definitely get him before he's gone. You know, you got the flats over here, you got the flaps down there. You know, everything just screams amazing figure. Grab this guy before he goes. Because then you'll be disappointed when he's like 500 bucks in a year from now. So he's definitely worth to have in the Iron Man collection. And just for size comparison, this was why I was really pleased when I saw that he's perfectly in scale with the Mark IV. I mean Mark III, I'm sorry. As you can see. How much massive he is. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.